Is it Luca in New York? Yeah, hello. What's up, Matt? How you doing? Hey, Luca. Very good. I, um, I already called once, uh, maybe a month ago, and I um, wrote you an email last week. Mm -hmm. And um, I basically have a story I'd like to share with you guys. But first, I have just have a basic question. Um, uh, like, I know I've looked up, like, uh, the New Testament when, uh, you know, the actual timing of it being written, and I get uh, the impression that it wasn't written any time before, like, uh, 50, 60 AD. That's the earliest it was written. But do you know of any, like, uh, you know, reliable source? Can you point me in the direction of some book or some website about that? Because I want to be able to, you know, when dismantling, a, you know, a Christian's uh, belief about it being an actual testimony, I want to know what I'm talking about. Well, that'd be good. I, there's not a book that's, that's leaping to mind, and actually probably one of the best things you can do. There used to be a website called earlychristianwritings.com, but I think it's been taken down, um, and that had a really good list of scholarly dates uh, that had footnotes and stuff. Actually, if you go to, uh, I hate sending it here right off the bat, but if you go to the Wikipedia articles for each of the books in the New Testament, they're fairly well sourced. At the bottom of the page, there'll be links to a lot of different books. The problem is, there's not a great deal of agreement on when the books were written, um, and you're going you're gonna to have arguments. The people who, the scholars who are reliably dating, for example, the Gospels to 70, 80 after, um, mm -hmm. you're going to find objections from Christians who are saying, well, the reason they dated it that is because it mentions, you know, the fall of Jerusalem, and that happened in, what, 72 AD, I think. And right. so they dated after that, when really it was written before that, and it was prophetic. Um, and, <laughs> you know, um, right. it's, it's something that you're not going to resolve. Um, there's, there's a bunch of good resources. I, we have some uh, book recommendations on the website, or we did have, and if not, um, I can look at putting together some of the ones um, that I've used. This thing's going to drive me nuts. Um, like, um, the reason I ask about, is because um, you know the guy... Um, you debated him and kicked his ass. Um, Matt Slick, I think. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's like an old for religious and whatnot. But like, I I checked on his website and he says, contrary to what some atheists say, it's very possible that it might have been written as early as uh, 50 A.D. And I'm like, okay, that's still 20 years after Jesus was dead. Uh, and 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 still, my question is. Where does he, you know, does he just pull that figure out of his ass? And if he's pulling it out of his ass, what does he just say, uh, 31 uh, AD, you know, as long as he's making it up? Well, well, just, you know, I was hoping there was some kind of, uh, you know, tangible well, reason to, uh, to believe that one way or the other. Can we recommend the um, Who Wrote the Bible yeah. books? Want to mention those? Uh, except that I, it, I don't have the info on it at the moment. One thing though that I'll recommend, and and you know we can do some of this in email. For some reason, this thing's showing up as battery power, so it keeps dimming, even though it's plugged in. Right. So I don't know what's going on. One of the things that I'll recommend um, is that you avoid it entirely, because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it was written um, by actual disciples the day after it happened. It's still not sufficient to claim that the events took place. It's still not sufficient justification that any miracle actually occurred. Um, and, and one of the best examples, or one of my, my favorite examples, is that there are people that you can go talk to right now who will, you can talk to the, the actual person who claims to have been abducted by aliens. Now, right. this is obviously a firsthand testimony in this case, um, and yet, despite the fact that you have first-hand testimony that you can investigate and their stories are remarkably similar and share a lot of details, people generally don't believe them. So uh, given, given that we have no idea who the authors of the Gospels were, we have no good indication of exactly when they were written. We, we, most scholars don't hold that they were written by eyewitnesses. They don't read as if they were written by eyewitnesses. Um, right. what, what reason does anybody have to ha have in order to claim that we should pay attention to what they say. And even if they were written by eyewitnesses right after the events, that's still not enough. It's no different from, from talking to alien abductees. Right, right, right. All right, well, do you want me um, to share my story with you guys? Sure. Um, do, you know, do you know about this, uh, this group called uh, Alpha? It's, no. it's basically, it's, 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 a, it's like, a, they, they, they sell themselves as a, let's explore philosophically the meaning of life. It's just a washed up, uh, you know, biblical indoctrination kind of thing. But um, I, I, I did go to one of their meetings right next to my house, is, is where they happened to meet. And uh, I was obviously the only atheist in the, in the, in the forum 
discussing stuff. And uh, um, I basically, um, I told, like, I was kind of counting on them not really knowing much about the Bible, like many Christians don't. And uh, I basically went on to, to, to tell them, oh, there's so many horrible things in the Quran. They talk about, you know, stabbing pregnant women in the, in the stomach, and they talk about <laughs> raping, you know, all the stuff that is actually in the Old Testament. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and, and they were all, like, really shocked. And they said, "Oh my God! I, see, this is exactly why you know it's better to be a Christian than a than a than a Muslim." And they went on forever about that. And then um, you know, the instant I told them, actually, you know, this is from Exodus. This is from uh, you know yeah. uh, all that. And it was the most amazing uh, one eighty degree turn. And, oh no, no, this is uh, uh, that's the Old Testament. That doesn't count. And, uh, and actually, I mentioned, oh yeah, this is actually from the first half of the Quran, though. It's not from the second half. Uh, most, uh, most of the because <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was expecting them to, uh, you know what I mean? Like, say, say, say the whole Old Testament doesn't count thing. And, uh, yeah. So. Sounds like a good time. Yeah. Well, All great. Right, well. That sounded like it was a lot of fun and something we probably should have done. Hey, that looks like it work. it's working now. Thanks. Awesome. Well, thanks for calling. I'm going to go ahead and get on some other callers real quick.